and good afternoon welcome back to this man of last purple and my chicago marathon training updates for 2022 and i'm coming to you on a friday first vlog of the week i did start my training plan runs later in the week and i have been doing them later in the day as well uh but so far so good i'm in my recovery walk break on my speed run today so as you know i do three recovery runs a speed run and a long run um i have been trying to front load them all so i have two days leeway uh but this time i did two days of <laughs> streak uh saving miles monday tuesday and uh recovery run i did on wednesday um it should have been the 65 minute one first and then the 31 minute but i did it the other way around so wednesday i did 31 minute recovery run but it was actually 35 minutes and yesterday i did a 65 minute run um i wasn't actually gonna do the whole 65 minutes i was gonna do maybe half an hour and then see how it was but uh so i didn't have it on my planned run on my watch but i just um ran to feel i'm testing out my new shoes Hopefully you can see them. If you can't, I'll put a clip in. So I did a bit of a shoe shop uh, last week, Friday, from sportsshoes.com. And they have a sale on. They normally have a sale, but I needed some, I'm getting some like Achilles injuries or pain around my Achilles. So it's not enough to not run. And as with all these things, when you're running, it's fine. I've got five seconds, let me see. Um, as with uh, most of these things, when you run, it's fine. And when you're walking, it's not so fine. But maybe in the morning, it's a bit strained. And then it warms up after I've walked a little bit on it. And then when I've run, which is normally at the end of the day anyway, but when I've run, I can't feel it at all until I stop running. But yeah, my recovery run is a bit longer. But, <laughs> but um, so I basically, I bought in the sale, um, some Saucony or Saucony Endorphin Speed 2s because threes are now out. The twos are cheaper. I'll put the prices later on. I can't remember exactly. And then, uh, and I bought them because normally I'm a Hoka fan. Let me walk back to where I stopped. Normally I'm a Hoka fan and I still am. Uh, but I've been seeing a lot of Saucony reviews pop up in my feed on YouTube recently. So I thought, let's give them a try and most of them do say um, that it's a good run in it and it's got a nylon plate not a carbon plate which makes it more comfortable and I'm not a fast runner so I don't really need the benefits of a of the carbon plate but I am seeing a benefit of the nylon plate in there it just doesn't make me feel t as tired when I run in them and I've been running them late in the evening. So like I've been going out at like 9.30, 10 o'clock. And normally when I do that, I just go for a mile. And then with these on, I've been actually doing the whole thing and wanting to do more. So that's good. And especially the, the, the recovery runs, I can go longer. With a speed run, because I'm putting more effort in it, I do feel it more, but I've been keeping to pace. I think it's helping me run a little bit faster or because I'm not getting as tired I can push more so yeah so I'm liking them so and um, they're supposed to be good for both short runs training runs and marathons so I'm thinking about whether I should run in these for the 20 mile that I have on Sunday so I don't know and I, I got some Mac 4s and Mac 5 so I wanted the Mac 5s and then the Mac 4 was like half near enough half price not half price but near enough half price also got a hoka 15 uh 15 discount <laughs> so i got that too so i thought oh let me buy this the sort these so i bought three pairs of trainers and they probably all cost the same price as one pair of those nike fancy magic trainers or alpha flies or don't even know which ones but next percent the fancy ones but yeah 247 pounds for three very good trainers Saucony or Saucony 
and two hookers. So I'm pleased with that. You can tell I'm getting paid <laughs> now. I can afford these shoes. But yeah, so today I'm in doing my speed run. Um, I can only fit in two reps and not three. So, but at least I'm doing them. Um, let me walk back to my point and I resume. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, I left it a bit late so I could only fit in two reps and now I'm talking a little bit now as well. So gotta get back and do some work. Uh, and I can't do it this evening. I can't run this evening, so I have to have to have to do it at lunchtime. That's what I've been doing all week. I'll say I'll go out at lunchtime, and then lunchtime comes and I don't do it, so I have to go in the evening. And also, if I've eaten, I need to wait about a couple of hours before I can run again. So yeah, so I end up running at 9:30, 10 o'clock. But <laughs> and I also have other things to do in the evening, so that's the last thing I can do. Anyway. I've run before midnight, so that's the main thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so today's speed run is a uh, five minute warm up, supposedly three lots of uh, eight minutes at 10K pace with a three minute recovery, and then four minutes at um, 5K pace with a two minute recovery, and then two minutes at one mile pace with a two minute recovery. So I just did the 10K pace, eight minutes, and I've been going fine. I'm sticking within my um, paces, which is really good. And definitely with these shoes, it's helping me stick there. I mean, I could be fitter and that's why I'm doing it, but it's like all of a sudden. So, and I actually wanted to run as well, which is a good thing. Cause probably if I had not had these shoes or not had the experience that I've just had for this week with them, I probably would have just binned off the speed run and just done a half an hour run. <laughs> because of my procrastination but I'm so glad that I've done it don't know where I stopped I'm gonna say should I just stood still you know how I chat for England um yeah but so so far I've not gone I've been beeped up look at all these buses now you can see them on the bus there's a bus there's a bus Here's a bus. And one more bus. <laughs> That's what they say. You don't see a bus for ages and three come and uh, one go. But yeah, anyway, I stuck to all the paces. Uh, when I finish, I'll put on the little chart. But yeah, I've been sticking to them. Let's hope the last two go to plan after I've just said I've stuck to them. But this way is a little bit on a decline. So I don't, normally I, I get these one in a little bit too fast but I think I was saying that I was going ahead for more and I haven't gone behind on my watch so definitely will wear these well the name uh, says it all doesn't it endorphin speed but I definitely will wear these tomorrow for park run I should really do it as a it's supposed to be my recovery run because obviously I only have five days left in the week because I didn't start my planned runs until the Wednesday but um, so I planned to do the tomorrow's park run just as a recovery run. But if I'm wearing these, <laughs> I don't. I'm hoping like see if I if I put effort in it, will it make me run faster? So we'll see. We'll see how I feel. I'll put them on, and I'll just switch my watch on, and then I'll just see how I go. That is the most number of buses I've seen on this on my runs at any time of day, <laughs> going both ways crazy anyway so to cut a long story short let me go and finish my speed run for today it's all gone to plan and i'll catch you tomorrow to see how my park run turns out and decide whether i should wear these for my 20 mile or switch it out to my max but then my max i know that i run in them without running them before but it's probably not a good idea to run in brand new shoes there Two more. <laughs> What's going on? Anyway, uh, proper recovery. That is, that's a rest period. Anyway, let me finish now. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It's Saturday, park run day. Finishes just up here. Just been chatting a while. Uh, but I wore my new shoes, and uh, again for park run, try to take it easy because I got the twenty mile tomorrow, and two minutes faster can you believe it 
so I came in at 32.47 so I'm not sure if it's because I'm getting fitter as we go on placebo effect from knowing these shoes seem to help me or whether they actually help me <laughs> but yeah 32.47 on the watch I tried to start a little bit earlier um, in the uh, queue <laughs> in the waiting area but I still managed to do 5.1k can you believe it I don't understand how that happens but yeah but yeah 32 47 which means it's an accurate faster time because the distance is exactly the same so happy with that so I've worn these uh soak knees all week sock knee sock knee all week so um I think I will wear them for the 20 mile tomorrow and yeah, see how that goes. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Good morning. It's Sunday morning and I'm just driving up to my friend's house. It's a long run Sunday and on the plan is, um, what's on plan? 18.6 miles. Can't remember what that is in kilometers. Normally I check kilometers first, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but today is the only race I could find that was 20 miles, close enough to when I need to do it. So I'm two weeks early, very, very early in the plan really, but it's only two miles more than, not even two miles, a mile and a half more than I'm supposed to be doing today. So I don't feel like it's too bad. Look, had my nails done. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're doing Bedford 20 mile. It's part of Bedford Run Fest and that's a whole weekend of different races. I think they, yesterday they did 5K, possibly 10K in the evening. And then today is the half and 20 miler. And then there's a whole like cinema, shops, you can buy stuff. I don't know about shops, but stalls, food, you know, food trucks, all that kind of thing. But yeah, we're just going for the race. Oh, there's a cinema. Did I say that? Probably to say that. Sundown Cinema, so I think that's like an outdoor cinema. Um, but yeah, we're just going for the run. I'm just driving up to my friends now, Nicola, who I've been running with, and then she's gonna drive up to Bedford. And yeah, so what's the plan? Try and run it mouth and pace. I'm not gonna set, a pace on my watch though so I'm just gonna let it flow um, there's actually about three 20 mile races all in today um, there's one at bed there's two in Bedford one at Bedford um, is it a city town centre and then one um, is in Bedford area but it's the Oakley one which is normally the one that I would go for because you get this cool hoodie but as Chicago is a flatter course Oakley is very hilly and uh, I'm already slow so I don't want heels to slow me down even more so um, I prefer to get do the flat course and then and also I really have a purple hoodie so I don't really need to go back and get another one <laughs> you watch it's gonna be a different shade of purple today um, and then there's one in where it's just quite local Dunstable and they're doing like different races as well 20 mile half marathon but it's in the very, Dunstable is very hilly, so I avoid doing them races because it's way, way too hilly for me. Um, but yeah, and as I said, I don't want to really do hills because I'll slow down and also Chicago is not hilly, so I don't really need to do them. But yeah, so I've picked this one. Not many striders going to this one. Most do Oakley because of the hoodie and stuff, coveted one. Some people collect them. Um, Doing, um, they're doing all the roads and they wait until after the summer holidays to start doing the roadworks. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, yep, feeling a little bit nervous as usual. 20 miles is a long way. My goal will be around four hours. If I can do just over 10 miles in two hours, hopefully I'm in good shape to do um, sorry, crossroads with no traffic lights. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, 
somebody must have had an accident there's all sand on the road um yeah so if i'm in good shape to do 20 mi 10 miles in two hours sh i should be able to do 20 miles in four hours and then what else what else wearing my i decided to wear the sock knee and do I can't say it. I decided to wear the Salkney Endorphins, so um, hopefully that will help. At least keep me from not getting tired, so that hopefully will keep my pace um, consistent and not, like, you know, drop in the second half. So yeah, fingers crossed. Um, yeah. So let's see how it all goes. Anyway, I'm nearly there, so I will say goodbye to you now. Again, I didn't charge up my GoPro, so uh, no race footage for me. Um, I'll get back into the practice of it probably soon. <laughs> Definitely for Chicago, I will be there. All right, take care. Talk to you later. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, bye. Hi, so I'm back from the race. I have got my medal. Burfin running festival. It doesn't tell you the actual race that you did or the distance of the race that you did on here. You have to check the lanyard for the, what you did. So it's 20 mile, because today was 20 mile and a half marathon. And yesterday they had a five and a 10K, so they must be using the same medals and just changing the uh, lanyard. So I prefer to have the medal say what the distance is so that you don't have to keep the lanyard. So I'm trying to end up like putting all the medals in like a little display cabinet. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Uh, so if you don't have the lanyards and they don't say the distance, you won't see what it is, but I'll, I'll know, won't I? So yeah, the race went really well. I went into it in more depth on another snippet. It ended up being 22 minutes. So I think I'll separate that as a race vlog. So I'll just go over a summary of how it went. But if you want to have more details, please go and check out the race vlog um, or update. Um, but yeah, so it went really well, as well as can be expected. I was going for four hours. I hit 32K at three hours, 59.56. However, I was run long, it seems. And so the race actually took me 32.6K. So I came in at 4.04. Uh, 34 so only four and a half minutes over my goal so that's not bad I can't complain about that I'm quite happy with that so um, the first half went really well I did it in one hour 52 and I was thinking yes my endorphin speeds are doing me proud uh, I felt fine obviously tired but I felt fine at that 10 mile point but they didn't last me longer than 25k so so I got to 16k okay got to like 20k okay Half marathon was in the two hours, 29 minutes. Got to about 24, 25K and the bottom of my feet started to feel tired. And I don't normally get that in my hokers, so could be the nine on plate in there. Could be that it's the first time I've run long in them. But other than that, I've enjoyed running in them this week. All my other runs, shorter runs, have gone really well. I haven't depleted as much or feel like I've depleted as much energy as I normally do. So I really love them for the shorter distances. So I'll, I think I'll keep to them for maybe my um, 5K, my um, park run. Definitely I'll be using those. Um, but I think for the marathon, I will go back to the Hokers for the marathon. But anyway, this week all went to plan. Uh, I did all my planned runs. I'm counting park run as a recovery run. I know it's slightly faster, but it was still just about 32 minutes. So. Uh, and my recovery run was supposed to be 30 minutes, so I'm counting it. Um, and then today I was due to do 18.6 miles or 30K, but of course I did 32.6K, um, so covered. Um, yeah, I did the 20 miles today because there's no race on the day that I, the plan is telling me to do 20 miles, which will be on the 18th of September. Uh, so if you know of any races on the 18th of September in the UK, let me know but otherwise i'll just do a i might stick to 18 miles and just swap them or i'll try and do 20 miles on my own but we'll see and then yeah so i'll put up if i haven't said that already i'll put up what i did for last week and i will put up 
uh, next week's planned runs. I'm travelling next week, so I'm going to try and front load them. I might only get around to doing four out of the five um, because I don't know if I'll be able to run. Because it's a work trip with like organised stuff, so I don't know if I'll have enough time away to do a run on my own. So I'll have enough time for a mile. I'll, I'll squeeze that in, whatever. If I get home or back to the hotel at 11, I'll go to the gym and do a one mile treadmill run. But um, I'll definitely do it before breakfast because if I don't have breakfast, it doesn't matter because I don't normally have breakfast at home. I normally don't eat until about 11 o'clock or so. So if I miss breakfast, it doesn't matter. I'll probably run instead. But as I say, I'm going to try and do those runs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then see what I can fit in Thursday. I fly out in the afternoon, so it's just what my travel plans are going to be um, that day to see if I can fit in more than a mile. Um, and if I can't fit in more than a mile and I can't fit in those other two runs over the weekend, then I'm not gonna do it. But I'll try and do the long run on Wednesday. In fact, I will do the long run on Wednesday because it's a 99 minute, 59 seconds. Why they use that, I have no clue. If you understand why they did that, please do let me know. It's on the Nike plan. Um, has that got any significance? I don't know. It does even say that if you can do the extra second, then go ahead. So it can't be a real thing, but yeah, it's a bit weird. But I would do that because that's 60, 70, 80, 90. That's an hour and a half. It should be fine even after today. So as long as tomorrow's run, tomorrow's recovery run is 75 minutes. That's quite sad, but I'll be running in my new Mat 5s, so I'll see, I can compare uh, running in them to running in the endorphins as well. But yeah, so that's me for this week. I hope you've enjoyed my updates for this week. Week 13 is now done, five weeks to go. If you enjoyed the video, please do press a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another update. Take care. Bye.